Um, so uh, mantadine has been around for a very long time as a uh, an immediate release preparation, and uh, it initially was used as um, sort of found serendipitously actually in, in people who are being treated for influenza and had Parkinson's. It was observed that they had some improvement in their symptoms. And then um, initially was used as just a symptomatic therapy that was thought to kind of wear off and maybe not have um, very prolonged benefit. And there was some suggestion that it might be helpful uh, for dyskinesia, but this hadn't really been studied uh, systematically. And again, it was thought perhaps this wasn't a very persistent effect. And so um, the particular uh, formulation that we studied in this poster is one that was formulated to have a, a unique uh, pharmacokinetic profile. So it can be taken once at night um, and then uh, peaks kind of at the, at the time that would be most relevant for therapeutic benefit. So it's a single daily dose. Um, it's called um, uh, delayed release, extended release because of that unique uh, characteristic. Um, amantadine is uh, thought uh, perhaps to uh, be an NMDA receptor antagonist and that it may be beneficial for um, dyskinesia uh, by blocking um, glutamatergic uh, uh, excitation uh, that could be one of the contributors to dyskinesia and Parkinson's. So the, the actual uh, underlying pathogenesis is still not completely well understood, but it's related to treatment with levodopa. So it's a levodopa-related uh, adverse event. 